Hey everyone, today we're looking at the SRPB51, one of the new Seiko Samurai. In this video, we're taking a look at the stainless and black Samurai watch. Here we are with the new Seiko box again. Takes a little getting used to after being so used to the blue one, but it's pretty cool. It matches the Seiko brand. So let's open this guy up. Alright, here we go. I've seen the other videos we've had before. Compare the three to the new Seiko Samurais. Here, I want to just focus on this stainless steel and black Samurai. It's an automatic movement. The 4R35, similar to the movement that you find in the new uh, Seiko Turtles, like the SRP77. It's a real simple watch if you look at the, the color combination, that black and the stainless steel of course but it just got a lot more going on if you really look at it the kind of checkerboard pattern in the background see if i get good see there you go take a look at that i like how they have a little bit of the gray starting there around the bezel Really nice watch. Um, looks good if you wear a lot of silver jewelry. It's a good watch just to have. Kind of matches most anything. Here we go. Let's take a look at the back. You got the Seiko logo. Nice Seiko dive. The double safety, the push button safety, and the extra safety on the clasp that flips up. And you open that there. And then here you got the extension for the wetsuit. It pops out, so if you're wearing a wetsuit, the watch still fits you. Let's go take a look at this guy in the dark. Check that thing. Really lit up. The Seiko Samurai. Got nice loom slashes instead of the dots that you see on the turtle watch. And you can see it's got a really nice bright glow to it. Of course we couldn't go without showing you the wrist shot. So you can see it's a nicely sized watch. Some people might think it's a little bit on the large size but for watches I've seen nowadays and you know for the last few years this is actually a little bit on the smaller size especially if you compare it to Nixon's or Invicta watches or just some rather large dive watches you see around nowadays. A little bit wider angle there. There you go.